In this interactive figure, you will have an opportunity to explore the intermediate value theorem for any of seven preset functions or a function that you choose to enter on your own. The intermediate value theorem tells us that if f is a continuous function on a closed interval between a and b, and if y sub 0 is any function value between f of a and f of b, then we can always find some value of c between a and b such that f of c is between f of a and f of b. That's the intermediate value theorem. The function will take on any intermediate value that we choose. So, in the interactive figure, on the left-hand side, you will notice the graph of f of x equals 1 divided by x. There is a point on the graph of the function that you can drag to change the endpoint of the interval a. Right now it is 0 0.54, which, you can, which is shown in the upper right corner of the interactive figure. And there's another point on the function which controls the other endpoint of the interval b which is also shown in the upper right corner of the interactive figure. There's a point on the y-axis, which is y sub 0. So when y sub 0 is between f of a and f of b, then there's an x value that's guaranteed to exist by the intermediate value theorem. There's an x value that, that leads to that function value. If I happen to drag y sub 0 outside of my interval from a to b, no c exists because y sub 0 is not between f of a and f of b. So the intermediate value theorem does not apply. If I were to drag, say, this point to the other branch of the hyperbola, c may exist, but it's not guaranteed, and sometimes c does not even exist because the function is not continuous on the interval from a to b. And so the intermediate value theorem does not, does not apply. Now if we click on the slider and slide it to the right, this is our second preset function, f of x equals the square root of x minus 1. And again, I can adjust the endpoints of my desired interval. And if I can drag y sub 0, so that is between f of a and f of b, the intermediate value theorem applies, and there is an x equal to c, which is guaranteed to exist. But once I am outside of the interval, the intermediate value theorem no longer applies. If I drag my slider to the right one more time, now I have the function f of x equals e raised to the x power minus 1. I can change my endpoints by dragging these points along the graph. And since f of x is certainly continuous between a and b on this closed interval, as long as y sub 0 is between the two function values, f of a and f of b, c is guaranteed to exist by the intermediate value theorem. But once y sub 0 is beyond the function values for either a or b, in other words, outside of that range, the intermediate value theorem no longer applies. Sliding our slider to the right one more time, our next preset function is f of x equals x squared minus 2. Changing the endpoints of my interval and dragging y sub 0. As long as y sub 0 is between the two function values, a value for x, that c value, is guaranteed to exist by the intermediate value theorem. But once my y 0 is beyond the limits of f of a and f of b, some x value of c may exist. In fact, there may be two values that exist, but they're not guaranteed by the intermediate value theorem. Clicking on the slider and sliding it to the right one more time. 
our function f of x equals the sine of x. If I change my endpoints of my interval by dragging a and dragging b, as long as y sub 0 is between the two function values, c will be guaranteed to exist by the intermediate value theorem. But once I move beyond the function values, either greater than one function value or less than the other, it's not, it's not guaranteed to exist. And in fact, no c will exist. But it, it, it's, the intermediate value theorem does not apply. Dragging my slider to the right one more time, f of x equals the natural log of x is our next preset function. And again, as long as y sub 0 is between f of a and f of b, c is guaranteed to exist by the intermediate value theorem. But once I move beyond the function values on either direction, the intermediate value theorem no longer applies. And our last preset function is f of x equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x divided by x. And even though y sub 0 is between my two function values, no c exists simply because the function is not continuous on the interval from a to b. And even if I were to drag, say, this endpoint a down to the other branch of the function, y sub 0 cannot be between f of a and f of b. So again, the, the intermediate value theorem does not apply. If you'd like to explore your own function, click on that input box and delete the function out of that input box. And you can then type in your own. And you can explore the intermediate value theorem for any function you choose.